This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for September 12th, 2024. Skillet and Seether are headed to Roadrunner in Boston on Friday night, September 20th with Tim Montana and Royal Lynn. This is an all-ages show and tickets are on sale right now. Check the link in the show notes of this episode to get them. Police in Nashville are thanking John Bon Jovi for helping to save a woman's life. The Metro Nashville Police Department shared a video from yesterday that shows the 62-year-old walking along the John Siegenthaler pedestrian bridge on Tuesday. He noticed a woman standing on the ledge outside of the bridge's guardrail and approached the woman while waving hello. After the woman returned his wave, the man who appears to be John Bon Jovi plants himself several feet away and leans in with his arms on the bridge. Another unidentified woman then moves to stand between the pair. Bon Jovi and the second woman then inch closer to the woman still standing outside the guardrail and appear to begin speaking with her. The near four-minute video doesn't have any audio. The MTV Video Music Awards were held last night. Taylor Swift has broken Beyonce's record and now has 30 VMAs. She won Video of the Year for the third straight year for her collaboration with Post Malone, Fortnite. She also won Artist of the Year, Best Collaboration, Best Pop Song, Best Direction, and Best Editing. The Best Rock category was won by Lenny Kravitz's Human. Best Alternative was Benson Boone, Beautiful Things. Lamb of God and Mastodon have released their collaboration track, the new song Floods of Triton. The song follows the summer co-headlining tours celebrating the 20th anniversaries of their respective albums, Ashes of the Wake and Leviathan. Dave Grohl's daughters have deleted Instagram and TikTok after Dave Grohl's shocking cheating reveal yesterday. Dave Grohl and his wife, Jordan Bloom, share three daughters, 18-year-old Violet, 15-year-old Harper, and 10-year-old Ophelia. Dave Grohl announced on social media that a daughter has just been born outside of his marriage, saying, I love my wife and children, and I am doing everything I can to regain their trust and earn their forgiveness. Guitarist Stephen Carpenter has confirmed his upcoming return to the stage with the guys in the Deftones. Back in the spring of 2022, the 54-year-old scaled back his live commitments with the group, announcing at the time that he would only be playing domestic shows for the time being. Earlier this year, he missed a streak of U.S. shows with the band, including the Deftones' performance at Lollapalooza. Carpenter has revealed that he is now, quote, feeling good and will rejoin his bandmates on the stage at the 5th annual Dia de los Deftones Festival in November. According to the Rob Report, falling in reverse frontman Ronnie Radke has purchased a mansion in the Hollywood Hills for $9 million. The house is described as a meticulously designed sanctuary spanning two levels with four bedrooms and four bathrooms. The residence comes with a three-car garage with a guard room for added security, a long private driveway that climbs nearly 30 feet above street level, and a host of amenities. The house was listed for sale in May for nearly $11 million, but ended up selling on September 9th for exactly $9 million. Queen's 1973 debut album is being expanded into a six CD, one LP collector's edition that will feature remixed and remastered versions of the original record songs. Renamed Queen One for the reissue, the band's debut includes fan favorites Keep Yourself Alive and Liar. The upcoming box set features those songs and others as it charts the album from the demo stage to the concert hall. The reworked album is set for release on October 25th. Poison had promised to return to the road in 2025. Ricky Rocket laying all the blame on why that's not going to happen on vocalist Brett Michaels, saying, quote, I keep getting asked multiple times a day, why isn't Poison touring in 2025 now? He said, super simple, Brett doesn't want to. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 223 featuring Cody Carson from Set It Off is available now.